The flexor carpal nerves comes and branches. You can actually see the nerve go groove right here. And I'm going to add heart seven to my therapy. Um, a lot of people fear that because it's right on or right above or right proximal to the accessory carpal bone. But the, the impact that I can get out of heart seven is anti-anxiety as far as stimulating the ulnar nerve, getting some impact from auto, uh, autonomics there definitely is helping my whole pain situation here. To me, if the horse is painful and it is in sympathetic windup, I cannot do or treat until I can calm that down a little bit. I think if the horse is too painful, I'm not going to get what I accomplish what I want unless I'm able to somehow calm that down. So I tend to use heart seven a lot. I'm going to go, okay, maybe now I can increase and I can go into some more type one acupuncture points and do some of my bladder line up here. Um, I always try, I, I, don't, I don't use the word balance, but I know that if they're painful here, that I'm going to have to come up and palpate the cervical region for pain in the neck and things. And I'll usually find pain in the brachiocephalicus and in that caudal cervical region. So I might continue with the, the LI-16, LI-17 gallbladder 21 points that I have. And knowing then when I do that, it gets more exciting as you go because I have these points in still attacking this. But <clears throat> what are some areas that I can do here? And when Mindy talked about it, she talked about using LI-11. And I do use LI-11 a lot, but even more distal to me in the large intestine line and the radial nerve line, I'm going, what can I do that might help caudal cervical and yet at the same time help me back here